right, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Truth Is Real podcast. This is your host Vito. We have again the lovely Angel. Make it real Angel quick, Angel Baby, Angel Baby, yeah, Just John, <laughs> Barbie, and my man Louis, Louis V. So Whoa. we're gonna get back to the uh, second half of the Truth Is Real podcast. We were just talking about double standards, and um, bef- I kind of want to piggyback off of double standards. I have a question. I'm a, Put out there to the table, and I'm, you know, whoever wants to talk first, you can go ahead and you know, jump into the, the conversation. Um, we were talking about double standards, right? Mm-hmm. So I guess my question is, what's your feeling on double standards in the word rape? The word what? Rape. Mm-hmm. Rape. Everybody's quiet. Uh, I mean, who I mean, want to go first? Uh, a, I'll consider the double standard. I mean, do you, who, Can a dude be raped by a woman? I mean, it's happened, but it's like. I mean, can it? Is that a question or are you? But I feel it's like, happened to me. Okay. But it's not. It's funny to us, but yeah, to a yeah, woman, like it's different. Now, okay, you're saying in that in that way. My question is: Is it a double standard as using the word rape? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm asking, specifically. Yeah. So when you say, yeah, why do you feel it's a double standard? Because you may be into a female and may not just want to have sex yet, and then you wake up and she giving you whatever, or da-da-da. But if you do that to a woman, that's a whole different thing. Okay, you got to explain, I'm kind of, you got Emotions, kind of lost me. We have, you said, say I that one more time, say that again. Let's say you with somebody, uh-huh. and y'all ain't had sex yet. Right. And you just sleep and wake up and she's sucking your dick or, I mean, pardon me, giving you fellatio or right. doing sexual acts on you. Right. That's technically rape, but a dude is not going to look at it like that. Right. But if so, you're with a woman and right. she wake up and you got your joint in her, right. it's like, well, wait a minute. What's going mm-hmm. on? Right. It's just, that's the double standard. We don't really Absolutely. care. Not even, not even just that. I feel like it's another double standard. Yeah, what Louis said to piggyback off what Louis said. Yeah, if a girl wanna have sex with us and stuff, if we don't want to, we get shamed for it. We get called names, shit like that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like another double standard is like if a male teacher is sleeping with a female student, that shit is Facts. crazy. Right. But if a female student is sleeping with a with just a another, boy, just another, like, that's nigga, that little nigga, you fucking man. Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. Double standard. Double standard. What's your what's your outlook? I yeah. agree. It is a double standard, but that's literally because men will praise other men for, oh, congrats, you lost your virginity when you was like six mm-hmm. years old. Like it's literally, really I was cool. just listening to a, a doll song, Rest in Peace with Doll. He said something like, I just, I got head when I was six. Right. And I That's was a, like. You don't even be knowing, like I'm the youngest. You don't even dudes. know your body's not even they finished like, developing. Club, it's not even and I understand <laughs> you grew up in a certain environment. So it's like, you know, like what what, what was a rapper, T.I. or something? Or uh, nah, it was, um. Well, boozy, boozy had right. got his his son was underage and he was literally paid a mm-hmm. prostitute to fuck his son. Right. Yep. I mean, have sex with his son, and that's just wild to me because if a if a mother would do that or a son uh, or a father would do that for his daughter, that is rape. So it's a mm-hmm. double standard. But Definitely. that's because men make it that praise way. that yeah. we you a lot of men make those double standards versus you know women. So to that to that standard. should that still affect. The, the legal system yeah it does. i mean does that he, double I'm, standard legally it it shouldn't it, it shouldn't be a double standard in the legal system i feel but like do you in the feel legal like eyes, it is a double standard in the legal is, system they'll laugh at you yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, go ahead i'm sorry go ahead um Angel. me personally i really think it's sick a little bit but then i because think about it if you praise a young man for having sex with an older woman that's considered rape right you're messing Mental with a uh, abuse too. um right a baby I, it's the same to me i think it's both women and men you can't do that i just feel like it's just it's just not right right but yeah but cuz you can you can have your child it's young girls right now have a sex about the same age you can just go get one of them and right. yeah nah i agree but it it does it is a double stand like legal in a legal system like it, it's sad to say but like mm, louis said mm. uh, like we could use like domestic violence shit like that too. You call the cops on your mm-hmm. girl, you gonna they gonna jail. laugh at your ass. Like they, right. they not yeah. gonna take it as serious yeah. as your they're girl not. calling yeah. the cops on you mm-hmm. type shit. Like true story, my it's my bro, my cousin. Like we like we we was young. We we outside at eleven, so we up. You feel me? But we kids, 
So we like 15. He got this little like 30 year old. She bad. Mm-hmm. Keep coming through the block. He be busting or whatever. Ah, ah. One day she just disappeared. Maybe when I first maybe when I first came home, like four years ago, my ma- some girl hits my cousin on Instagram like, "I'm your daughter." So my cousin goes, meets the girl, does the blood test. That's his daughter. Her mother is the one that was hitting him when she was 30 and he was 15, but she left because she knew she wanted to keep that baby and she was going to go to jail if he knew. That's crazy. But ever since then, she ain't even with her. We got her. Wow. That's crazy. The only time there's not a double standard with rape legally is when it's statutory rape. No, but when it's 15, both when it's both adults though, that's why she ran though because she knew it was illegal. But when it's they're both adults, then that 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 rape can technically like but have that so, double standard legally. But what you said, it's still kind of a double standard, like as far as the statutory shit. But you know, kind of like you said, it's kind of our fault as well because if a fifteen, mm-hmm. if we're fifteen. And a fifteen-year-old yeah, come she's up. She's getting no back for that. Fifteen-year-old come to yeah, us like, oh, I'm we would have a hell. We'd be in jail. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like we happy for the nigga. Like, right. well, she's but just, like, what you crying? But just right. because, right. just but because, it's, it's your parents that press charges. Right. Right. right, but just because yeah. kids are cool with it, just still doesn't mean it's right. It's right, right. That's right. A fact. It's not you know, we're all we just going to the double standards. Yeah, but I'm just saying. But you know, even though that. We might feel whatever we feel. Men might feel whatever they feel. Still, still morally and legally, it shouldn't be a double standard, right? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So my question, like, if a man says, like he was saying, like if a man says, oh, this woman raped me, right? And let's, 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 let me change it around. When a woman says a man's raped him, right? At that point, unless there's a, a, a rape test done or anything like that, it's really her word against his word, right? Yeah. And... I probably if you look it up, it's probably more chances that the women probably win with that. And I'm not if you were raped, that is a bad thing and definitely that person should go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But this let's, let's be real. There's a it's lot there are times and it's probably a few people, men that are locked up mm-hmm. who have probably sexual abuse charges or sexual Innocent. you know, and probably Prime example do Aaliyah. It. She it's loved R. Kelly. I bet you don't understand yeah. you get locked That's up for something. But you I wanted yeah. to say something, guys. Yeah. Um uh, it's kind of bad for men, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, say if they were, like, raped by a guy, right? Right. They're going to keep that to their self. Right. They're not going, oh, judge, you know, oh, right. police, they're going to rape by a guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with women, we we going, if they hear from us, it's more of a think fast and be hurry up and get this, right. you know, this process. But a guy, they, so it's, I feel bad for you guys. Because right. wasn't there a football player recently that was in the news about being in the casino somewhere? And um, the woman, I think it was a Caucasian woman, accused him of harassment and I'm sure touching him. I remember some years ago, Kevin Probably Gates. Kevin Gates was performing, and a bitch grabbed his his nuts, right and he kicked her. I don't remember where it was. I was, I was at that. Concert. But Shawty grabbed his balls, and then he kicked her, and then he got in trouble for it. Like but why? Because she touched him. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm but saying. that's the double standard. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. They don't. I feel women bad. Women could smack the shit out too, and if you smack them back, you you in the mm-hmm. wrong. Like that's just that's how that Damn, shit works. So you know, that's mentally could be mentally damaging. You know, the men out here nowadays too. Yeah. I mean, I think it's. They need to change it around. It's a hard thing because when it's one word against the other word, it's that is just like Michael Irvin. Yeah, it was a Michael Irvin situation at the Marriott yeah, Hotel. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. This is recently too. I mean, I don't know, but they no, they just I released the video. No, no. Now this is the Michael Irvin where he was at the at the hotel and they're trying to. The, the woman said that he said some little little comments but to they her showed, they showed and the video of the touched her, but it. It looked like it did look like it was a set. It even looked like the man that was messing with her got mad that she was talking to him, and then he probably might have been like, "Look, something, something, something." And she might have lied and been like, "No, he tried to say something to me." I don't know, but for her to he lost he he wasn't he wasn't even to be on the Super Bowl. All the shows he was on, he lost so much money. That's off why just, he's not on nothing. Yeah, he lost. He's not on TV. Nothing. They took him off wow. everything, all he because she table. said or that. Yeah, he say she said. So he's suing. Um, Marriott Hotel for yeah, hundred million dollars right now. A hundred million dollars. Going into her work room when she worked in, talking to her supervisor. A hundred million dollars. Yeah, and then she bent the corner. He oh, was yeah, right that there. Was, that was a setup. 
Yeah, so, but they can see yeah. that on the camera, man. They got the camera. They had the footage the whole time, though. That was the thing. They had the footage the whole time. He finally got the footage because something happened legally where they messed up at. That's when you go the long way and you go sue everybody and they're trying to get you dollars. But it's sad, though, because he lost still, they you know, still it, curve, it's still his yeah. name. You know, he still got to go back and try to get back into hey, it again. That's and, one guy that's going to bounce you know, back. He's going to bounce back crackhead. once they... But you know what? Also, I wanted to say about that's this situation with the rape and all that stuff with the men. Um, prime example. My cousin, my uncle was a big girl. Maybe they did something to him to get back at him. And then, you know, it takes on... when Once you get molested, you go take it up somewhere else. It's right. like a, a routine, you know? So... I mean, it's not all on people just being perverts sometimes. Right. Sometimes stuff happens to them and they go and repeat the same cycle. I think it's okay because they right. it happened to them. Another right? thing that a lot of people don't realize is when a woman really gets raped, she is grieving and processing that information for a long time because she can't believe that shit happened to her. Mm -hmm. She is like... No, is that a double standard right there? No, 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 no. Because no, man I'm can't grieve? I'm getting, no, I'm, I'm that, that's asking. not what I'm getting okay, That's okay. not what I'm getting right, to. Okay. They are processing that. They are grieving. They are traumatized. So a lot of women that actually are raped, they don't go straight to the police. A lot right. of times they feel like they're scared to say anything because nobody will believe them. A lot of too. women, but mm -hmm. a lot of women who go straight to the police and are telling everybody, a lot of times they are what they didn't actually happen because how are you not agreeing? I'm not saying just because you go to the police and you tell people it didn't happen. And yeah, you don't but immediately. And a lot of you know? and, a, and because it's a psychological thing, it messes mm -hmm. with you mentally. A lot of women that like, actually okay? had it happen to them. Mm -hmm. They, they're they're scared. That's they're how traumatized. It's mentally, you feel like, is it okay that I'm doing this? And they feel like they don't, they're not going to be believed. So or what's going to happen to them you know? if so I tell you, them? Am I going to be a okay. snitch? So let me they're ask scared. you a question, yeah. though. So and same is for men. That, so do you feel like it's even harder for a man to come forward? Absolutely. Yeah. To say that. Because you're not only... You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Some men never say it. It's probably more men, like they said, never say nothing. They not... Never. A lot of men have been raped and they don't even know it. I mean, what I'm saying is... Because they think it's cool. Because when you're young, like I said, when you're young, a lot of... First of all, it's probably a lot of men that may have a lot of sexual issues in their life that talk to younger women because they were raped when they were young. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of women out here, a lot of men out here that we call that are perverts or whatever. They're like that because they were raped when they were young. Mm -hmm. A lot of there's a lot of aunts and uncles, aunts and um, mothers yeah, and stuff like that that, 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 that that did a lot, lot of stuff to these young boys too. I'm talking about young boys, five, six, seven, eight years old. You know what I mean? And these boys carried it, and, and, and it may make them some kind. I think sometimes it affect them where they may turn saying, homosexual. You know what I'm saying? I think that it, I think that could make a a, a a man that a boy that wasn't born like that somehow down the line maybe turn that way because I feel like that sexual issues, especially when a man plays with a little boy and stuff like that. I think that plays a role in a lot of people that have these mental issues mm -hmm. just in, in the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't get talk about the boys that are played with like that. And it's by men and women. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's men and women. It could, and, it, and like you said, most women boys too. aren't women saying women. nothing. Right. But most boys, like you said, aren't going to say nothing at all. Now, how many times do you hear a 14-year-old boy going to the police yeah. and saying, I was raped? No. But how many 13-year-olds probably been raped out here? You know what I'm saying? Especially these boys that are quiet. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it real. The quiet ones, you know what I mean? The ones that don't have that many friends. Those be the men. I used to be in school. I used to see the ones that are pride on. And I felt like some of these teachers are pride. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be like, these little boys, they they, they don't have like the the gump to say too much. You know what I mean? Like something can happen to them. They're not gonna go back and say them because they're already timid already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, like some of the rougher boys, you're not gonna really get... You know, they're not going to test you as much like that because they know you're going to probably fight back, have yeah. a lot of mouth, you know, so they know the ones to go after. It's the quiet ones, mm -hmm. the ones that isolate themselves from everybody, and they proud of them, you know what I mean? So I think it's a bad thing across the board, but I do think men do have a bad when it comes to the word rape. I Absolutely. think rape always goes with females, you know what I'm saying? Most times when you think about rape, you think about women, you don't play, oh, about a man getting raped, you know what I'm saying? You hear about rape, you always think about the say woman he got rape. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. You got some pussy. And that's you, sad, you, you, though. You just got some but pussy. it's sad because yeah. what happened? Like, no, I right. didn't want that. But yeah. you're like, shut up, nigga. It's true, but Why have you drug right? and then raped and your money stolen? You're going to feel bad afterwards. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to call the police. But you're going to want to call the police. You're going to want to call the police. You're going to want to be like, yeah, why have you why have you drugged and raped and they did something like that to you? That's a, to something to your anal us. area. You're not, not telling nobody. Yeah. I'm just saying that's that's gonna affect you, gonna you mentally, right? No. 
Yeah, and then the even then, even and then even if it is by even if it is by a girl and you get right. drugged and raped and robbed, and niggas is laughing at you. They not think about the rape part. Yeah, and what happened? What happened? You think is a woman is not a woman? Is that rape? Huh? If yeah. you, I think so. Yeah, I right. think it's rape. I so think what happened so. in them situations then? You can't call you the police and be like, I'm a, I was raped. Right, but you can't call the police and say that was rape. Right? They gonna rape be like, were you willing? They can be like, yeah, you were willing. I was willing to sleep with a woman. But can but can you charge them? Can they? I don't know. Legally, can they be charged? I'm not telling so. you the truth. I don't I think don't even so. Know if they went that deep yet? Right. Yeah. yeah. They're not gonna arrest on the spot. Right. Then that woman can. can that um, if gay rights know. goes into effect and a whole lot of stuff, yeah, and that's right. a whole nother constitutional. So that's a bad that. thing. That's what I'm trying. We don't never think about it. Think about all the men out here that <laughs> maybe fall in that trap, though. <laughs> that is rape, though. I agree. <laughs> though. <laughs> I mean, you weren't thinking like that, right? Yeah. You, I agree. Though. Though. So, but I right think that's right. I mean, we we would what say that, but it's, but nah, some trans. But some of these men out here, they deny. They deny. Right? They deny. Some, they deny. some trans. Yeah. Some yeah, but they're not oh, they make him. Oh my God! Some men don't want to. Some do men didn't. Made look, some men say they were drunk. I don't they know. Some niggas don't, don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look. We gonna we gonna have a game one day. We gonna have we gonna have some pictures yeah. of a few different. Some men. We gonna all, we're gonna all, see all who can pull them out, who can not pull them out. We gonna see. We are gonna see. We can pull them out, who can not pull them out. I went to school with one. I went to school. Shit, I did it. Well, don't use the word. Excuse my word. There's some men that look look good too. I think it's definitely some men like women. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. I went out to eat yesterday. I kept calling the waiter he or she. I couldn't figure out which one it was. I was so I didn't I didn't do it on purpose. Every time they came over, I switched it up heat. She, I did not do it on purpose though. <laughs> but every time I looked, I just could not. I was my mind I was just jumping to each one. And I bitch, I was somebody was like, I think it's a heat. I was like, they need to Same tell you this hour. stuff. I'm hey, like, dude, I don't want to hey, think so hard. Say, but I want to. I don't want to think so hard right? I mean, because now it's and then all you're offensive, offensive right? And, shit, and then yeah. you don't. But honestly, you, don't know, you just you don't, don't know. know. Some people don't even like he or she. They like they and Man. shit like that. Like, you say the wrong thing. You like, excuse me. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, no. At my job my in the government. Right? They have pronouns for everybody in the government. Yeah, you have plenty of pronouns. Some people do say they. A lot of you know. I don't knock. I'm just saying. It's hard there, to sometimes whatever. identify it, you know? It's hard to Dumb identify said, it. come over here and talk to them. Sometimes if you're in the middle, see, I'm just talking about identifying in there. general. But yeah. if you're in the middle and you don't know for sure, then you shouldn't be doing it with that person anyway. <laughs> yeah. If you got to think and, then and you, question, yeah, you need you, to you leave. Already you already know in the back leave. of your mind something Even going, if something you're wrong, wrong it's just better leave. to be safer. <laughs> it's just better to just leave. First of all, your nerves and your insides should already kick off. If you think that a little bit, that should right. be somebody you, you want anyway. You should just not now even do it. Yeah, it. yeah. now you looking at yeah. the Adam's yeah. apple trying to see what's that? Yeah. Adam's? Yeah. Look at the your hands, yeah. feet, what's that? <laughs> you a ten and a half? I see some cisgender women with some really big ass hands and big ass feet. That's what I'm saying. And they look very masculine and they were, they're cis women. That means they're born a woman and they look very masculine. No, it is. That's why I said. But if you have to question it, sometimes you got to say no now. Sometimes you just got to say no. Just a woman who looks very masculine like her bone structure. There's a lot of women like that. There's a lot of women like that. too many variables. My whole thing about it, if you and your, as a man, unfortunately. Show me some baby pictures. Yeah. But you got to be careful on that. That could be fake and Photoshop and all. Who knows? All I'm saying, if you got to do all that, you best to just go find some audio. Yeah, it's too much. I'm not doing all that. I lost interest. I already lost interest. too much stress. I'm trying to figure out if you a dude. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much. I'm, I'm up here. I'm laying next to you. What if I just laying next to a man? I'm, 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 I'm looking at you like, no why are you going to the ask. bathroom like that? <laughs> it sounds like that just hit it all in the toilet. That just sounds like a five-year-old. I had a two-month run with lesbians for some reason. They like you to convert it. I'm like, but you like girls. You're married. So what? I mean, I know a lot of men who like to, like, are very attracted to, uh, they be they women be bad, that are studs though. and stuff like that, and like yeah, I be looking at them true. like Lord, they, I mm-hmm. call them confused. No, it's bad joints confused. that's lesbians okay. though. Yeah. Confused. You know that's a lesbian, but it's still that's called confused. That's yeah. married yeah. and all that. Man, that woman confused. A butch, man. a butch. You talking about like a, a, a butch is a, yeah, a, a butch is a white game. woman. Who's but you a know what men don't think like women. A butch is a killer. No, a butch is a white girl. woman though. That's but a but it's that's some, a term. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we doing too much. Let's not go too far off to talk about butch. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to get. I don't want to go down that route. That's a whole other conversation. But all right.
That's cool. <laughs> we, we get it. We understand. We're going to move on to another topic. I got a question. I got another. I'm, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to be on that all day long. But, um, yeah, we're ended with rape is bad all around the board. All bad. No one should ever, you know, that's just a bad thing in general. You know what I'm saying? For men and women. I do feel like men do have it bad when that word is used. But I'm going to end on that. You know, maybe they need to work that out. The legal system, figure out. I do ask one last question about that. Do you think there should be 15 years of time where somebody can come back and say that you raped them or did anything? Or you really what, think you it lie? should be, huh? You lie? No, I'm just saying in general, like, like, like look at Bill, Bill Cosby. Cosby got hit. Look at R. Kelly. I mean, do you believe, because there's no way to prove, at that point in time, evidence is definitely gone. Right. Everything is gone. So at that point, it's really that word. Even who's a witness since 10, 15 years ago, remember every little thing. Unless, unless you, I, I don't know how you could prove that. Yeah, you know unless I mean? you prove it. I don't. I don't think. You, you I don't think you should have to serve time weird. unless you prove it. But I feel it's like no if, way to prove if it, somebody though. lied about that shit, they need. Even to if serve you some said it to somebody, too. who knows if you lied back then? If they lied, I they need somebody to serve could have you and just lied. Up, just they need but there's no way to prove you lied. It's in your head. It's not even like they give you lie. You you can't even use a lie detector test in court. So they can't even that, make that, you that, use that, a lie detector. Real? No, you cannot. It's not admissible in court. Oh, lie detectors are not. That's so you can't even give you a lie detector test and say. If you even because they say it's not hundred percent, could be a lot of variables yeah. People in know it. how to use. It's not it's a lot of variables them. in it, but that's but that's better than nothing, though. I think. Yeah, I think that I at least agree. gives you a little more of a clue if you should ease this yeah. way or not I a little agree. bit. Right. But if they say it clouds the judgment of the jurors and stuff like that, but it's really no way. So my thing is, I'm I'm be honest with you, I definitely don't think you should get no 10, 15 years. I'm I'm sorry. If something happens to you, the same way if somebody breaks into your house and any other crime is committed, you don't have 10, 15 years to go back and say it happened. You know what I mean? If somebody died, that's different. But I feel like if you've been raped, any man or female, unfortunately, it's real time. life. you got to say something. And they need to be preaching more time. on teaching women how to speak up than just saying it's okay and we understand you've gone through a lot because that does it's not, not help okay. the person who has to defend themselves because mm -hmm. it's not always true. And when it's true, I do feel bad for the person that has to fight for that. But I do feel bad for the other person that has to fight for their freedom. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, because Ali was in love. Because you're fighting in jail. So you are fighting in jail, then your reputation, your name, your job, name. you have no money no more. I mean, everybody doesn't have a rich family member that's going to take care of yeah. the lawyers. You're going to but jail. But people don't understand the difference between Look at Bill Cosby. Just like I don't know what the, I don't know what's up Bill Cosby. I don't know if he did it, but I, it's weird that all of a sudden... All these women Coming all of a sudden got molly rocked like to the six, point six, where seven, no seven, pill and back then molly rock. it was so they easy to talk about a like black man. man. How mm. are they scared about a black man back then? Any white woman that came forward, a black man, it was over with for that black man's career. It's done. You were scared of a black man back then. That's true. Yes, mm. I understand exactly what you're saying. And one person in the come. Shout out to Bill Cosby. One thing I, I ain't saying say, shout out because I don't know who was real. Who beat it. Real. He, they, they dropped all the charges. We can't speak on oh, something that we, they got, they we make, weren't there more, and it didn't happen oh, to more. us. Yeah, we can't speak on something that what didn't happen to us. We don't know or whatever. But I will say because he's famous, a lot of those women are gaining a certain clout Bill or Cosby fame about to buy and stuff like that. So that's an that's another yeah, reason why a lot of people started just coming forward out of nowhere. Years passed by. They know that evidence is. Gone, they can't do it. They weren't even hurting no more, probably. I'm not saying they weren't or were not. But in cases where you think the person, really thinking about that, you think the whole life, I'm just, I'm not saying, I don't know. So I don't want to be, you know, not going to buy CBS and but that do, wasn't happening. Do you think a lot of these no women were going through the whole life just, hold on, hold on, do you feel like those women were going through the whole life just waiting for that one day, like it was eating them up inside, and they were just like, I finally, 15 years later, I'm, I'm able no, to finally say it. I'm no, I feel like they should have been said something. It would have shone a light because they're famous already. I feel like, mm -hmm. I, you know, I can't speak on them being victims. Because he had the best whatever. mix of medicine ever that a chemist or biological yeah. person could have. For, for His drugs were years, perfect. They the were the best, best drugs ever. ever. That's the case. He knew how to mix that the right if way where that woman was out for the count. Allegedly. And didn't remember Allegedly. nothing every time. But I will, that's like that's 25, not, 50 women that he did nothing, so perfect. They, but I will say for someone that. who is. He was a chemist. But I will say if you're, if <laughs> you're, you're at a club. Dr. Cosby. But I will say if you're at a club. He was Dr. Cosby. I will say if you're at a club or whatever and it's a regular person, somebody you might have met on Tinder and it's a regular person. Someone who's not famous. Someone who's not famous and you got raped and you're traumatized. You're scared to say something or you feel like you wouldn't be believed or you don't know who that person's Bobby, name please is. Please stay off Tinder. Some shit like that. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I'm going to say to that. You might find a roofy person on Tinder. Yeah, no, don't but I'm do saying no in that, it, but I'm 
saying in real life, that happens actually very often, frequently with people who are regular people and stuff like that. And then they don't say nothing. And then one day they might see on the news, somebody finally did come forth and then they can like, okay, it happened to me too. But Bill Cosby is famous. So that's why it's like suspicious because we're like, okay, bitch, did that really happen? Or are you doing it because he's famous and you want want some clout? But no, all right, we're gonna we're gonna end up because I don't want to let's do, I just wanna know, do you think one by one, do you think they should limit the time of how long you have to report being raped to maybe like maybe honestly, even a year is you not have no evidence. I mean, honestly, if it doesn't happen within a certain amount of time. If you ain't reported right I mean, then, if you I don't think what about if you don't get a rape kit? Because honestly, without a rape kit, that's the only way to and even with that, you don't know if it was consensual. It's just a hard situation. That rape thing. It's a hard if a female time, got yeah. raped, she is not about to wait no years and all that to say something. I can't right. say and she like v, And then like See, Vito I can't said, say that. I just that, don't know. You there know can know be man? times where a girl, where, where a girl will mad. fuck you and then just get mad man. and say That's it. That's what she's trying to say. So now your now you semen and shit is in there and, all, and it looks mm-hmm. a certain way, but it's not you. Unless you got scratches so it looks like you. And bite marks on you, then it's, it's hard but to even say. Even that, some bitches like, like that rough shit. sex. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's rough. That's that's if you that dogging shit. it, that, that, that shit, shit gonna be tricky. bruised up, swollen when I'm done or and all that. Drunk and passed out because we forget they like it's still rape if somebody is like. I know it's so many. I just, it's so I just, many things. Yeah, but so I just think rape things. like when it's we see mixy. these movies where they kidnap the girl and rape her every day. That's mentally. He should be locked up for 15 years plus for more than that. Yeah. Yeah. We need to go you back got- to them old way. You still, we chopping your hands <laughs> off. We need to go back to shit like that. We don't do that. Don't All right. Quick All question. Right. I'm going to ask. I'm going to start. I got a question. This is, I'm going to put this out to the table. and I'm going to start with John. What would you do in this situation? This is a what would you do situation. All right? What All right. would you do? What would you do if one of your best friends, I'm talking about your right-hand man, called you, told you, come over to his house, right? You pull up to his house, right? Uh-huh. When you walk in his house, it's a dead body in there. Sure. And he asked you to help get rid of the body for him. To help him get rid of the body? Yeah. Should we be talking about you asking me what I yeah. would do? Hypothetically, yeah. Hypothetically. What would you do? Would you turn around and be like, I'm walking out? And then think right, right after you're in there, you're in there. So now you're in there. You already touched things. Yeah. <laughs> you already. <laughs> they, they got the camera of your car pulled up to the like driveway yeah. already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If I'm being oh, all no. the way real, <laughs> are you saying I'm about, leave me out of it, leave it out of there? If I'm being all the, the body's way already, real, the body, the person's already dead. So he, you didn't, you're not, you didn't, didn't kill the kill person. Him. I'm just right. accessory. To you did, you, you, <laughs> I mean, you that's might that's be accessory to a disposal of a body because you didn't, you weren't there when the person was. We don't know if it was murdered. The person could have took some drugs, could have been, you know, could have overdosed. Yeah, he's scared. He's my right hand man. Your right hand man. If it's my right hand man, most likely I'm gonna help him. But we're gonna have to have an understanding. <laughs> if we get bad, you taking that murder charge, nigga. Right. Right. But it most likely, if it's my so right you go, hands, you go, I'm going to help. You go in there and scratch your head, but like... I'm going to be like, damn, I'll probably curse him out and shit, but in the long run, I'll probably help him if it's yeah, my right hand. All right, what you about to do, Louis? What you going to do? I'm on federal probation. I'm, I don't do anything <laughs> of the sorts. Uh, if you did kill somebody, please don't call me. I don't know you anymore, or I don't know nothing. But if you want some advice... <laughs> <laughs> Turn this over, man. No. <laughs> Make sure you get rid of it properly in the right way. Clean. Wipe down everything. You know, bleach everything. Nowadays, that don't even really work. Me now, I, I'm a reformed person, and you cannot call me about that. I'll hang up on you. I'm on federal probation, and I'm a good guy. Right. All right. What about you, Age? What you going to tell me? <laughs> you're right here. This is your right. This, they, they, they would die for you. You know what I'm saying? They would I'm rocking. Die I ain't going to hold you. I'm rocking you, out with my guys. They dying for you right now. They have nothing else. They have no one else to call. We're not going to no get other options. Yeah, man, they can't sure do it by themselves. They, because they, cause your girlfriend, she light. She she short. She she lightweight. She can't we pull nobody. Cut. If you know your, your right hand man, you should know off the break when you're on the phone with them. There's something going on. Yeah, we're going to fix that. Wait, ain't nobody so you already pulled up with the aunts and uncles and shit. You pulled up with the whole family. <laughs> no, I ain't pulling up. First of all, you should always do stuff by yourself. I uh, love her. Nobody. I don't even want, don't even put me. I if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If you do something, you should do it by yourself. <laughs> don't call me. <laughs> I'm not saying don't call me. I'm just saying like. So I she love, called you, I Angel. Love that. Angel, you know she what? called you. Everybody not like you, though. I told you. Hold on. Hold on. You want to do something like that? Do it by yourself. <laughs> 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 you texting me. Look, look, bitch. Do it by yourself. My name been in You know, because that's, because you know, all the evidence will be gone. You, you, you Why'd you even tell me? Exactly. No response. No answer. What about you, Bobby? You down? 
Your friend, man, she got your back. Most likely, if that's my best friend, my evidence is already in the apartment. Because so I'm going to oh, be yeah, at their house yeah, all the time. Yeah, so true. I'm going, to, as soon as I But they got camera footage going on the street, so your car pull yeah, up about this time. Of course. But I, I'm always Orville there. Cameras. They're going to know that I'm there So they're going to the be like, time. you knew what happened. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, they knew, they knew you there at that Listen, time now. Like, I know. So course. then they know you're in the house while that body's in there. Yeah, the answer. Of course. But if that's my best friend and I'm at their house all the time and I see that shit, I ain't walking out. I know my evidence is already there because I'm always there. Are you going to help the person? I am leaving right away. And then I'm texting them <laughs> like, so hey, I know. knocked on the door. I didn't hear you. You didn't come to the door. But you're not helping with the body and then you're not doing none of that. The ring camera That's showed you going in. The ring so camera I'm gonna showed you going So I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to text them because I'm leaving that paper trail. <laughs> Hold on. The question I, I, is, I knocked on the door. You didn't answer. No, the question is, would you help them cover it up? I'm leaving. What are you talking about? So the police about? call you. The police Baby, call you. Not at all. You're not a real person. Nah, no, let me tell you. You're not even a real person, real oh, best friend, because you would drag that, me into something like right. that. No, but I got shit to lose. She reversed yeah. that on you real quick. She said, you a bad friend. No, I don't even know you no friend. more, bitch. That's, why are you trying to take me down person. with you? I, I agree with Barbie because why even put me in that situation you know I got kids? Everybody. Because I know myself. Because I know myself. They turned that real quick. I know myself. I'm not no killer. But if something like that were to happen, I'm not calling nobody I care about because I don't yeah, want anything to happen right. to you. To if I did, if I made a mistake or something like that happened, I'm handling oh God, that myself. I'm not taking you down with me. I care right, too much. So you, so you, you cut that's off. Selfish, man. So you like this? Don't ever call me again. Block basically. No, I ain't gonna block you. Yo, my, and once I, you shit, in it, you shit right, like right. that right. sound good. But once, once you, you kill it, so you like, so you looking at that body, you just panicking and shit. You just doing shit. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I mean. Shout out to my homie. He, he got 33 years, right? He from Jersey. He was out, you know, Texas doing what he do. But he big blood. He's the big homie from Aha, ah, ah, whatever. So he gets junk in the club. And you can, what? In somewhere in some weird Texas where the cartel be at. He from Jersey. Mm-hmm. He don't even call the shop. A body got dropped. He gets a call. Yo, what should we do? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. See? He tells them what to do. They do it. He's doing 33 years right now. That's what I'm saying. You got to be careful. I'm going to never see my homie again, bro. He's he's part of it. Just for that. No, he he was in the hospital when it happened. Yeah, but it don't make a difference. No, he told him what to do after. He was a part of it. That's what he did. And he got the leadership role. He got 33 years. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So it's, it's, it's a thin line. All right, so next question. This is right, I'm a, let me ask you, Barbara. This one, this is kind of yeah, this is kind of on the same level, but this is a little <laughs> bit different. Money. Hold on, hold on. It's a little bit different. So, Barb, you, you got to rent a car, right? You driving to rent a car, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you driving to rent a car, right? And you know, y'all packing y'all bags up. You and John packing y'all bags up <laughs> in the <that> car. <laughs> and John lives up the, at the back of the thing. And he with a tire B. You see, hundred thousand dollars of cocaine in there. What you gonna do? Oh, we moving that. We moving it, baby. <laughs> So you y'all moving it for real? You got, yeah, right. like you, so so you don't you're not gonna wonder where it came from. No, I might get you a wedding ring. And by the way, just, just wanna from. this is this is not real. It's not real. Nah, this is not real. What Dark said, this shit is not real. The truth is real. This is subject, yeah. isn't it? This, this, this is, is not real. I would never do this. You get a wedding ring. Unless you're in a situation. You get a wedding ring. You come back with a Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hundred thousand dollars. That's hundred thousand dollars. That's hundred thousand. That's wholesale hundred thousand dollars. That's not even on the street value. Street value might be five hundred thousand. Wholesale, that's not a hundred thousand. Come on, we're not going detail, man. <laughs> you get the picture. One million. Well, the first thing I would say is you have your phone on you. Mm-hmm. We're ditching our phones, ditching the cars. We only using cash. It's a rent a car off of Enterprise. Right. Who? They probably got track. And I'm gonna ask him, but also I'm gonna ask him where did he get that car from? Rent Enterprise. I'm telling you, rent a car. Rent a car. But under whose name? His name. Like y'all, y'all didn't know. Y'all were just renting a rent a car. I'm taking everything out. I'm going to a car wash, getting detailed, and blaming it on the car wash. You don't day. know if the, somebody from Enterprise is going to do it. You don't know if it's a setup. You don't know if somebody mm-hmm. left the it. That's, that's you what don't I'm know if they can code Enterprise and get the piece of information because that's only but a couple dollars. But if he, if he, he's he's stupid if he rents that shit under his name and he carrying. But it. he didn't I'm know sorry. he was no. What I'm saying is the person go to the rent a car place. Found hold hold yeah. on. <laughs> The it's person can go question. to the rental car place and ask somebody who rented the car last and give them a couple of dollars and they can easily pull the information up and put and find his name in there. Mm-hmm. He wasn't doing nothing wrong. Y'all got to go out of town, go to New York. Whoever got the car. 
Is it like a situation where like I'm a kingpin type? And no, you are who you are him? now. You are if you I'm are a regular now, nigga. And you found that matter. We just going. We just going for vacation. Yeah, that's that's. What if I'm a regular nigga, we just going for vacation. We yeah. just drive. So the up question with. is, if you take it, then and say someone's looking because it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, right? somebody looking for me. That's right. Different. So is, how hard is it to go to Enterprise and pay somebody two hundred dollars real quick to get the information of who's a person with the mm-hmm. last car? Easy. People do it all the time. That's not, money. not hard. Two hundred, five hundred. First of all, you you're talking about. Said he said a half a million. It. So somebody will just give you a thousand dollars to give me that information. Just who got that car rental car? You said if you found it, or you talking about the person? Right, who did you hold on, hold on. Let me repeat. It. You're not listening. Yeah, you gotta listen, man. I said you rent a rental car. And they left it in there. And in the midst of packing to go out of town, he lifts the back up, and where the tire is, he sees a hundred thousand dollars worth. A rental yeah, car. Yeah, that's why you say a rental car. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. You do. <laughs> so my whole thing about it is. <laughs> so my thing about it at that point in time, are you willing to take it? Because like you said, it could be the cartel, it could be whoever. Bring the car back. Nah, for real. Car wash. I got a detail. For real. But 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 let's keep it real. If if, if they were they found you and you said that. You think they're gonna really believe that's what they happened? Be so right. that doesn't mean nothing. You can say whatever excuse. They, if they know, it, if they know your name was the last person that picked up that car, they definitely coming after. And your address is on it. They definitely okay, coming after. No, you better come. Ready. I didn't get to answer it now that I know. Yeah, come now ready. I know the situation. <laughs> right. If that's the case, and then they can easily do that, I'm going back to the rental place and I'm finding out who rented the car before me, and I'm calling them, contacting them, the last two people, and I'm like, but like hey, you said, there's probably a fake now name. You gotta plug. They're probably like, a like fake name though. Yeah, now you got. But they're probably a fake. Like you said, they're probably now renting under their. If you return it, well, now then, you got to put it Then I'm leaving the car. And then when you call them, they're going to ask for it back. And how do they will kill you after that? Mm-hmm. Nah, okay. So then, <laughs> they don't nah, know who you I know, are. I, I know our address is going to be on the thing. I'm leaving the car. At that point, you sure? Because they got your address. No, 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 no. I'm leaving the car. I'm leaving the car. Listen, you listen, better, listen. You got enough money to move. I'm leaving the car. You get it all back first. at the house. I'm, I'm taking the car back to the house. And I'm putting a note on the thing like, hey, I think you left something here. The cars are in it. The keys is in the dash. And then we get in another car and we going on a vacation. When I come back, that car better be going. But what about the? What about they got the, our how you address. Going? You so, no so basically, you giving everything back. Right. Oh, Absolutely, you because because I know I know cartel, cartel kill my grandfather. I want your answer. Hold on, let time. Let's talk. Cartel, cartel kill my grandfather. I'm not getting in the mix of that. You don't want your your life is okay right now. You don't need no. We no want a headache. vacation, baby. Like I'm good. If I really need, if I'm trying to move some shit, I can move some shit if I want to. But mm-hmm. that's not. Because a hundred thousand dollars of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't. It ain't like just waking up tomorrow moving though. I know, somebody gonna know you moving. But it's also. But, somebody that word gets out real quick. But somebody also, gonna know Bobby exactly. over here got a. You said a hundred wow. bricks or a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars yeah. worth, nigga. That's, oh, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, no. that's wholesale. Hundred bricks is shit. No, that's somebody gonna know. You think the word gonna get out that you got some? And then you got worth, that you got that Mexico finest? I'm keeping it anyway. Get that shit's also not worth losing my life or Catch his me life. In the street <laughs> and blow the horn. What you got to say, Angel? Hold oh, on, Angel. Angel got something some to say. Lifetime type shit. But you know, um, to be honest, and this is a fantasy. Okay. It's a fantasy world. We're I'm talking about facts. You know, it's just too much access nowadays to find people. So nah, I don't know. they put the little um, Apple. Tracking thing on you, it's a lot yeah. of ways. I ain't gonna lie, but man. then Technology. you gotta think about if you try to give it back, what the fuck they gonna do to you? Yeah. You better off taking a rental car and dropping it much. back off, <laughs> and just <laughs> they they respect hard. that, and just let them call the rental car people and figure it out. <laughs> but no, I never. You know what I'm saying? They gonna respect that. You got a plug for life, but who you gonna call though? You're not gonna know the people. Only people you call is Enterprise. No, exactly. You calling no damn Enterprise? Right. You, you can't. You're not gonna know the people who drop it in the car. Man, listen, and most of the time, the company the not giving you other people information. You, you done. You, you, you yeah, done. unless but you it's pay like for. It. The <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like putting all Everybody the making some money. I'm supposed to do with you it. talking about a million dollars with a drug? Somebody can give you five thousand dollars. Somebody, somebody, hard, somebody give that up. Yeah. You call me. I don't know what you're talking about, homie. Click. I mean, look, that's how I feel. I feel like Louis, man. Yeah, if you it was leave, some marijuana, that's different. You leave bricks in the is. back of my trunk. You tripping. And it's, a, and it's it enough how for me to move. They take the car. That means God <laughs> sent me a blessing. <laughs> Catch me if you can. If it was, if it was money, it'd be different, too. It, it was, was like a, me to have if it was a bag of money, that's different. You Even know what I'm saying? Drugs. It's not different. God no, it's not. Because money is easy to keep, man. Two things for money, not good money. It's not. Money, not good money, but. 
God, God, God might, God might, make your that might not be God, but that might not be God. Like, when I return the money in, what they gonna do to me? That might be the devil, though. Might not be God. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta accept situation. I think all depends on where you're in your life. Your life is okay right now, and you're not struggling to the point where you need to put that. I mean, not even that. It's just other shit. Bro, if you open a trunk with a hundred, if you homeless or something, if you really broke your last, I don't know, baby. I don't know, but if you're not even a drug dealer, how do you know what to do with a hundred? Right. You're right. Who are you you gonna get oh, robbed? You and know killed. that life. You getting killed and robbing you, dog. Mm-hmm. You call somebody and be like, you don't. You're not yeah, in that you world. Tell them. You're not in that world. You be like, That's you know anybody want to buy some of this? I got this, man. They gonna be like, yeah, I know somebody want to buy this. Meet me here. Rob you, yeah. Oh, no. Come on, if you're not in that world, though, yeah, dog. Well, you gotta know I said, that. If you're not, if you're not in that, that if, 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 if everyday regular person finds that in the car, they would not know how to I move would all that. I would fact. probably trust the yeah. car club before I trust them. They're gonna. They're not gonna. gonna get the, the first person they meet no, is no, gonna no, buy that. Yeah. It's gonna get them. Hell no, they ain't. Like, they ain't moving that. That shit gonna. Sit. It depends on the dog. It's regular dudes out here can't move. Yeah. A zip. Okay. Yeah. You know what they talk about. It depends on what kind of dude you are. That's I said all. a regular person is not. But the, in that enterprise world. should be able to contact the person before. The reg, a regular person shouldn't even even think it. about it. Yeah. Shouldn't even sometimes. think about they it. They end up dead. Out the trunk I'm coming from a different enterprise perspective. Out the trunk so, too. Yeah, if you do with the perspective, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I went to prison for that. You get a kind of worry. I ain't I touching it. I don't want it. They got the straps and shit. I don't want it. I'm like, thanks, God. Know. This is my leg. No, I'm sweet. I, I don't want it, dog. I'm, 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 I'm good. I don't want it. I'm telling Angel and Bobby, yo, go find shit. houses. Got think first. Wherever y'all want to find houses. Look, I've been, been watching BMF and Snowfall. I'm good. That's my case, actually. I don't want it. I'm saying you're not going to go along and and re change the fucking honey. No, you're going to bring, you're going to have to pay such and such. You're going to have to look. That's a lot involved. I, in I don't that. trust you. So Who's buying all of it? First of all, who are you going to get in contact with going to buy all that off you? One you person. Do? I got one person. Okay, you do. But anybody, anybody else that even attempts to do that is a rocky situation. You know what I'm saying? I used to have one person. If somebody got 100K to give you, that's scary off the break. Just meeting somebody to give you 100K. Yeah, you need people to be. I'm just sorry, though. Hey, yo, you want such and such this mount because they come with me. With the, the, yeah, AK, all this shit. I ain't messing with Before I went to prison, people and used to come and drop me yeah. 20, 15, like, yo, when you get it, just huh, hit me. I'd be like, damn. Nah, I, ain't good. I had to give people back their money because I got booking a drought and I'm shit was like 40 out there. I'm still giving call. you 25. I don't even want to serve you. <laughs> <laughs> they dropping off 25, right. 13, 15. <laughs> yo, just call me when you but get if, it. All right, but if you, that's but, how it works. But if you were in Mexico day. when this happened, what would you do? That's, yeah, that's, that that's the cartel for real. Yeah, I'm giving this one. But I call the cartel. Yo, homie, p- pull up. <laughs> so we're going uh, we to call you. That's, I've been in yeah. prison with a lot of them. That's all. He, he down. He down. He down. No, I was in, te- in Mexico 30 minutes from the border, so I know a lot of these guys. I mean, how they think. I'm good. I know, like, my Life man. is too good to have to put myself in a But I don't know. Mexico career. is different. Mexico... It's Mexico to a point lock in up their own cartel. It's That's to a where point in, was at in Mexico that body's case. where they're kidnapping yeah, just regular That's people that vacation. I'm Paso, good. West yeah, side. they can have that. I don't even want to be. And the police work for them and all that, man. You good. You get to the airport, they taking you in and everything. I'm good. I ain't even trying to cross the border with nothing. I'm good. You get caught so in Mexico. What are you do? It's you already here. Taking it back to Enterprise? I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm out of fact. The car's going right back. I ain't sending them to Enterprise. I ain't sending them nobody. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm returning the car like this. Like I ran the car. that never happened. And what if you get the case when they when they, when they open the truck and clean it? My, my fingerprints ain't going to be on it. They ain't going to touch it. They got to clean the car as soon as you bring it back. That's between Enterprise. And they want to clean the car. By the time I drop off Enterprise, anybody could have put that crap in it by the time. And the person who picked the car would clean the car, that's all on them. At that point in time, I had nothing to do with nothing. I'm not messing with it, man. That's it's gonna come like, with so much God, trouble. I'm like, thanks God, I needed this lick. I'm sorry. Just don't come across. Never yeah, with some cash. Father God, just don't put me. Yeah, some cash would be different. Anyway, I don't care. Well, some cash. And then I put it in like, there's no cash. It's cash is fine as keepers in the enterprise car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the workers could have took yeah, it. But the workers could blame it. Now, I, found, I found marijuana in the, in the, um, in the car before plenty of times. I, I found that plenty of times in the back of the thing. I don't know why we just smoked that. Like, no, no, not a lot. Probably like a dub, 30. No, I found those. I never found I like I found some shit that they probably was selling. We, yeah, I never, I never got lucky like that before. They gotta be worth it anyway. It wasn't that many, but it was like different ones, different yes. flavors and shit that they left in the car. They dead with me. I'm, I'm sorry. Get yeah. at me when you see me, nigga. But all right, we're going we're going to wrap it up. We've been on we've been on this about 44 45 minutes. That was a good conversation though. Yeah. We have, but, that's some great time. Yeah, so. I'm getting hot with that light on me though. <laughs> that one <laughs> last one you got to think a little bit. It's the wine. Well, y'all, we're going we're going we're going to end this, but y'all got to drink the rest of this up. <laughs> drink the rest of this up. 
quick. And we're going to end this. And we're going to um have a great Sunday. A blessed Sunday. And um I guess if anybody's going to barcode, pull up bars. Not you. But we'll talk about that another time. All right, y'all. We out of here. The Troopers Real Podcast. Vito. Later, Angel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, just John. Just John. Louis V, you already know what it is. Louis V, we out of here, y'all. See y'all in about two weeks. Peace out. <laughs>